Hello, in this tutorial, we want to do the angular part of adding our images to the home page and make it like this. Let's do it. Okay, let's start from the bullet points. The first thing that we want to do is creating a home component for showing the home page items. Okay, let's go to the code. Let's open up the terminal. Okay, and here we need to write NGGC for generating a component and the name of our component it is home. Okay, let's go to the app. As you can see, the home component is ready to use. So we did it. Let's go for the next one. Adding home components row to the router. For this one, we need to go to the app routing module. Let's close this one and close the terminal. Okay, here we need to import home component from home slash home component. We have home component here, but we need to add it to the routes. Okay, let's create a new object. Its path should be equal to an empty string. It means the home page of our application. Okay, so Whenever you go to the home page of our application, it needs to load this component. So we need to say component should be called to home component. Perfect. So we did it. And we need to add the router outlet directive to the app.component.html. What does it mean? Let's go to the code. App.component.html. Here we need to add a directive called router outlet. It means we want to show the output of router here. So for example, if the router is set on the home component, the home component will be shown here. Let's check out the result. As you can see, we have our home component below the header component. That's exactly what we want. Let's go to the bullet points and let's check this one. Okay, adding food images to the assets folder. Okay, here inside the assets folder, I want to create a new folder called images. And inside this images folder, I want to add my foods folder. So we have all of these foods images. That's fine. We did the adding food images. In this step, we need to create a new service called food service for providing the list of food images. So for showing some image, we need to have those image addresses. So we need to add them inside our food service. But before doing anything, we need to create it. Okay, let's close the Explorer. For generating a new service, we need to write ng generate service and the path and the name of that service. I wanna put the food service inside services folder, okay? Services slash food slash food. The services slash food is the path. It will generate services and food folder. And the last part of this directory will be the name of our service. So it will be food service, okay? Done. Let's go here. As you can see, there's a new services folder. There is another folder called food. Let's get back to the bullet points and we create the food service. Okay. Now we need to add a function to this food service for providing all the images. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go to the food service.ts file. As you know, the spec.ts file will be used for the test, and we don't want to talk about test in this course. The main thing here is the food service. Let's go inside it. Let's close the explorer and also the integrated terminal. Okay, here inside the food service, we need to add a function here. We need to have a get all function that will return an array of string. Let's return an array, the path to the images, okay? Let's look at the assets folder. As you can see, we have six images from food one to food six. Let's add them here. Okay, food two, food three, four, five, and food six. Perfect. We have our images addresses inside our services and we have a function here. Let's get back to the bullet points and check this one. Now we need to inject this food service to the home component. Let's do that. We need to go to the home component.ts file. First of all, we need to import the food service here. It will be food 
service from dot dot because we are inside the home directory we need to go back one level to go to the services and inside the food folder we need to select the food service ts file and we can easily inject it to the home component by adding it to its constructor parameters super easy right by doing this you can have an instance of this food service you don't need to use new keyword or anything else by the help of dependency injection of angular okay let's go to the bullet points we did this part now we need to add a foot property to the home component and get the data from the get all function inside the ng on any hook let's see how here inside the home component let's add a property here called foods and it should be in a string array we need to initialize it and inside the ng on in it we need to say this that foods should be equal to this that food service that get all and done let's go to the bullet points check this one okay now we just need to show those images inside our template file okay let's hop into the code and here i just closed all the tabs here because i just need to go to the home component html file let's close the explorer and here we can remove this line we want to have a list of images so it's better to use ul an unordered list for showing that list and then li for each item and an image tag for showing those images but we don't have a single image to show here we have a list of image we need to make a for each loop for each element of this list okay we need to use star ng4 for having a for each inside the template of angular let we need to declare the variable for each element that here it could be food in this step it's just an image url but in the next episode we will make a real object that contains all the data about the food this is the variable for each element of foods we have six image urls so this line will be repeated for six times with different image urls from one to six okay and the image source should be the food because for now the food is the image url okay we need to use string interpolation to place some angular variables inside our html tag inside that double curly braces we need to write food and it will be the image url as easy as that let's look at the result as you can see we have those six images let's go to the bullet points and check this one but as you can see they don't have any styles in the next episode we will give them some style to give them some thumbnail shape so see you in the next part